What's up, folks? Once again, here's an opportunity for everybody to get up in arms and for the media to get fucked off and to spin something into a huge race issue, right? Let's continue to use anything we can to pit black against white and white people pretty much against everybody because uh, white people are the devil, right? Anyways, the knockout game. You know my feelings on it. It's chicken shit as a motherfucker. Well, there's this dickless motherfucker from Texas. Jumps on a 87-year-old man. I'm not sure. Excuse me if my fucking numbers aren't right, folks. But an elderly black man got knocked the fuck out in Texas. And it's chicken shit as a motherfucker. But the only difference in this case and the other cases is now they're trying to call this a hate crime that it was done a, as a hate crime. But it wasn't a hate crime before. Even when Jews were getting uh, singled out up in New York, uh, elderly white people were getting the fuck knocked out of them. It wasn't considered a hate crime. It was just it was just an, a simple assault, right? But now the white motherfuckers are doing it too. Now it's a hate crime. And the way they spin this fucking news story at the end of it, they're acting like this white guy is just going to get off. Even though he copped to it, he showed the cops the tape, he was real sorry for it. He had to go get drunk so he could numb his nerves. You know, took him all this courage to work up to even do it. Didn't take courage, you weak, short dick motherfucker. You pick out an old man, fucking hit him from behind. That's the only motherfucker you was going to pick on was an old man. Somebody that ain't fucking with nobody. That's chicken shit. But what I think is chicken shit also on top of it is that they're going to use this and exploit this and try to continue to drum up more tension between us Americans. And it really doesn't matter to me what fucking color you are. If you're going to fucking attack somebody unprovoked for no fucking reason, if you're going to fucking assault somebody, chicken shit sucker punch somebody, you need your ass whipped. So I think that they're just going to jump up and call it a hate crime then it should be a hate crime across the board. It should be a hate crime when the Jews are getting attacked in New York. It should be a hate crime when white people are getting knocked the fuck out. Hate crimes go both ways, folks. I mean, this is bullshit. I'm going to show you the fucking news clip. First thing you're going to see in the background, just be looking for it, is a big white fist. Because it's white motherfuckers that are doing it now. So, just... My point being, folks, is just look how they try to take everything and spin it. And you know Jesse's going to jump his punk ass out there. I mean, Jesse had to jump in on the fucking Duck Dynasty thing. Jesse Jackson, shut the fuck up. You have no credibility. You're a fucking hate monger. Reverend. Aren't you the guy that calls yourself Reverend? You're supposed to be saved, but you're not. You're a fucking hate monger and cocksucker. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up. You don't represent black people at all. You perpetuate the fucking hatred is what you do. That's all you fucking do. So go blow yourself. Anyways, check this out and just watch how they try to spin it. Watch how they fucking present it just in order to get racial tensions going. It's bullshit. It is a horrific game that has been sweeping the country. It's called a knockout game. And now we're learning new, never before released details about this appalling attack right here. Yeah, it really is. People are ambushing and sucker punching unsuspected victims, trying to knock them out, all while trying to catch it on video as well. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Quinn live in Katy, where an elderly man was attacked. The story new at five. Kevin. Yeah, Art, a source close to this investigation says that 80-something-year-old man spent more than four days in the hospital. He was attacked right here in what one officer calls one of the most disturbing assaults he's ever seen. Investigators say an elderly man was violently attacked here in the 600 block of Danover, November 24th. His face was swollen on this side. He said he had three plates in there. You know, he's sucking out a, a straw. Joseph Lewis says he's the 80-something victim's nephew. Now, really, what the world coming to? According to court documents, later that day, an off-duty Fulcher police officer was with his wife at this bar and grill in Fulcher when a man they had never met before admitted to the attack. 
Authorities say he introduced himself and asked if they knew what the knockout game was. Similarly labeled attacks have occurred nationwide as young people apparently challenged themselves to knock out unsuspecting victims with a single punch. The assaults recorded on video. And he's a good man. He don't bother nobody. He don't mess with nobody. He mind his own business. The man went on to allegedly tell the officer he'd played the knockout game that very evening and that he, quote, felt bad for doing it and that he had to make himself numb by consuming alcohol. Among court documents is a picture of that man's phone. Records indicate the man then showed the officer video of the attack which he took on that phone. The officer says the victim was struck with a fist without provocation and that he then fell to the concrete drive. It took police days to figure out who the victim was. Friends and neighbors want to know why the man who showed the officer the video has not yet been arrested. You see the video, meaning you still don't take the man to jail? Now the Katy Police Department says it is still investigating this case and the FBI additionally is helping along in this investigation looking at whether there could be a federal hate crime here. The victim in this case, an elderly black man, the attacker, the alleged attacker anyway, a 27-year-old white man. We're live in Katy, Kevin Quinn, 13 Eyewitness News. So you see what I'm saying, folks? They leave it as if he's going to walk, as if he's going to get away with it. He's not. He's going to do time, and a punk motherfucker is going to get drilled in his ass when he goes to jail. He's going to get what he's got coming to him. Just like every single last chicken shit motherfucker out there. Folks, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. If you see this kind of shit popping off, fuck call the cops, jump on the motherfucker, whip his fucking ass. Don't ever 